The car industry, as you know, has been one of the hardest hit over the last couple of months. Fox 5 auto expert Nick Miles joining us now live from beautiful Portland, Oregon, with a look at what's to come. Nick, good morning. Always great to see your smiling face. You too, my friend. All right, so let's talk car sales nationally, locally. Where are we? It's, uh, it's bad. We knew it was bad. Uh, some cities are just taking a real punch to the gut, including Pittsburgh, who are down 90% in their sales. But when we get more localized, looking at our San Diego market, it's not as bad as all that. 39% down in March and then 52% in April, overall around 46%, which is still around four points lower than the national average. So it's not too bad. Week to week, when you look at San Diego, it's actually started to come back back a bit. At the beginning of April, it was as much as 61% down. But right now, we're about 40% down on what we'd normally see as far as car sales are concerned. People starting to venture out and thinking about buying vehicles again. I think that you were going to hear numbers like this. I mean, it's staggering. 90%, 40-something percent, 60%. Okay, so for those who do venture out, uh, it, it, is it strange that people are choosing this time during the middle of a pandemic to go out and buy a car? or are there deals to be had? Well, of course, there's deals. I mean, car companies need to sell cars. And right. if there's no deals, people aren't going to go buy vehicles. Interestingly enough, you look at San Diego, and it bucks the national trend. The number one selling vehicle right now in San Diego, the Honda Civic, which is a surprise to me. Hmm. Since most of Americans are going to trucks and SUV, the one vehicle right. that's actually up 7% is the Hyundai Tucson. And Hyundai are celebrating sales increases. Not many people are seeing, but it falls into that category of being an SUV. SUV. And then we go back into much more of the trucks and the SUVs as being the top vehicles. Although Tesla Model 3 is there at number four as the big seller in San Diego. So that's fourth on the list right now. But still people gravitating more towards trucks and SUVs. Yeah. Uh, so so no school, uh, a lot of people working from home. That car has been sitting there in that driveway for the last uh, six to eight weeks. What happens to the insurance rates? A lot of folks are calling insurance companies. What about warranties? Are, are things changing there? Yes. So we uh, we talked to Mercury Insurance, first of all, who gave us some really good information. I mean, in, in there, they're really big in California as a big insurance right. insurance agents company. They're giving 15 percent back on their insurance uh, to those people that paid in March and April. That's around sixty five million dollars. When we talk about warranties, Kia, the one company that stepped up and said, hey, listen, if your warranty is expiring during the COVID-19 pandemic, we'll extend it to June 30th so you can get all of that warranty work done. VW also looking at doing the same. So you should check with your car company and your insurance company first to see if your warranty is extended and also to see if you can get some money back on those premiums you've paid. I know Sandag just today released that something around 40 plus percent fewer cars on our freeways here in San Diego. Uh, is there a way to take advantage of the fact that there's less traffic? I mean, that's one silver lining we could find in all of this. Yeah, I mean, like 37% nationally, over 40% right. in San Diego, less traffic. I will tell you that what I've been doing, and I'm Mercury Insurance, again, recommending that you get your teen out, teach them to drive. There's less vehicles sure. on the road, less chances <laughs> of an accident. I've been teaching uh, a 23-year-old to drive stick. Uh, I tell you, I'm really glad there's less traffic on the road because <laughs> it's scaring the living bejesus out of me, but it's actually working pretty well. well my goodness gracious. Uh, how do you see uh, the bounce back? for the car industry, because a lot of people are saying, you know, okay, when this is all over, our economy is going to boom again, but it's going to be a slow uptick to, to kind of get back to normal. How do you see the car industry? Uh, I don't know. It's 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 really difficult. Everybody, I talked to Jim Morrison yesterday, who is in charge of the Jeep brand, and he told me we're just playing it by ear, like day by day. We don't know if the, you know, we're getting our factories ready to re reopen, but we really don't know if we're going to be able to reopen, if we're going to have the parts we need to start car production again, yep. whether the, the public is going to have the appetite to actually go buy a new car. So, again, it's a day by day thing. I wish I had solid answers for you, but the truth is, is it could be completely different next week than it is today. Yeah. Uh, we're all kind of figuring it out uh, as we go along. I've been driving my car for a week, my wife's car for a week, my car for a week, just to kind of keep them both in circulation and moving uh, to get them some movement. Nick Miles, what a pleasure. You're, sir, you're very good to see you, sir. And listen, go and drive your vehicle when there's no traffic on the road. I've also been doing burnouts, which is kind of fun. Oh, don't, don't, don't. Sh Nick, <laughs> Nick, stop. I knew that would get Nick, you. Nick, stop. <laughs> I'll text you my uh, CHP story from a couple of weeks ago. You'll get a kick out of that. Thank you, Nick Miles, everybody. To.